So it is official. The Moon Swatch not going to be available online. Swatch has officially lied about this. They've been moving back the date for its release online multiple times, but they have now confirmed that it will not be released online. And I think a lot of people will be very mad about this. So as I mentioned in the intro, it has been officially confirmed they will not be releasing the Moon Swatch online. This was confirmed by the CEO of Swatch Group, and this was through an article, an interview that was done by Fratello Watches. I definitely recommend checking out that article if you're interested in this subject. Now, I wanted to go through some of the timeline and why the Moon Swatch has been a total botched release. Do you like watches? Are you like me? Do you never stop talking about watches? Is your family sick and tired of hearing you talk about watches all the time? Well, if so, you're in luck. WatchCrunch is a new platform for people like you and me. A safe place where you can talk about watches without all the BS that you find on other platforms. So if you're looking to talk about the latest releases from your favorite brands, or maybe you want to talk about the differences between the Valju 7753 and the Etta 2824, then you found your new home. Watch Crunch is free, easy, and troll free. Check out the link in the description below to find one of the recent threads that I started on Watch Crunch. Come join the discussion and me on WatchCrunch.com. So the story here really does start with the announcement of this watch that happened in early March, 2022. A lot of people were very excited about this because of course you were getting a swatch that looked like an Omega Speedmaster. People went nuts. So this became one of the most hyped watches of 2022, if not one of the most hyped watches of all time. So when we got closer to the release date, the day before the release date, we got an idea that Swatch had no idea what they were doing and they were not going to be able to handle this release. Originally, they were saying that you were limited to two watches per person as they saw the hype start building. And then the night before the release, they dropped that down to one watch. They knew that there was a wave coming of demand for this watch that they would not be able to handle. The next day, there were lines around the world up to 5,000 people deep. And there were people waiting online, including myself in a line of around 2,000 to 3,000 people here in New York City and only 100 people on that line actually got a watch. And it wasn't the watch of their choice. It was basically whatever was left after the first few people went. Number one. Number two, most of the people on that line thought they were still getting two watches and nothing was really well communicated from the Swatch store or the people who were running the line. There was a lot of confusion. There were actually some fights here in New York and many other lines around the world. So this was the biggest first biggest problem that Swatch faced and they did not handle this very well. They did say and they kept on saying to everyone who was on the line, waiting on the line, people who were on Instagram and bombarding them with questions about this watch, don't worry, you'll be able to purchase one on the 28th of March and this will be available online to the public. Everybody who wants one will be able to get one. That date came and went. They postponed it, they postponed it again and again, and obviously now they are saying it will never be available online, or at least not in the near future. So if you want one of these, you do have to travel to one of the 110 Swatch stores, the Swatch boutiques, to be able to buy one, and that is not great for a lot of people. Some people are not near a Swatch boutique. Some people are thousands of miles away from a Swatch boutique, so if you want one, you have to go to the flippers. And I think Swatch are sort of feeding this hype by doing this. But what I have noticed is, is that the wave of hate has now taken over the Moon Swatch. Tons of people hate the Moon Swatch because of the actions of the Swatch group. And I do blame the Swatch group. I do not blame Swatch. Now, we're not gonna get into the quality control issues and things that people say about this watch, whether or not it's worth the money or not, this was handled terribly and unfortunately it's the people who actually want this watch people who want to actually collect this watch 
who are going to suffer. So now, what was the explanation that was given behind the fact that they will not be offering these online currently? And that was a very bad explanation from the CEO of the Swatch Group basically saying that they are not going to be available online currently because we want people to go out and have the boutique experience. And those of you who are not near a boutique, don't worry because we are opening boutiques very soon. So that means you will have to wait for a boutique to open to be able to purchase one. The explanation here is terrible. They should really just apologize and say that they never expected this wave of sort of demand and hype. And this is what happens when you're not prepared for the demand. You're not able to actually make your customers happy. You need to apologize to those customers who are waiting for this watch. Instead, these people are now hating on the watch because they are angry at the Swatch Group. So this has been a botch release from day one. It's kind of what I'm pointing out in this video. Swatch kind of lied throughout this process and that is not a good look for the Swatch Group. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I know there are people out there who still want this watch. I am still one of those people. I would like to collect more of these watches. However, it is so hard to get them, even for me, a person in New York, who is available to go to three different stores, it's very, very hard to get them. So that's unfortunate. But tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblogs, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.